Hello and welcome to Topwear Sprinkle. My name is Topwear if you're seeing me for the first time. And here on YouTube, I share videos about natural hair amongst other things. And earlier this year, I got my hair silk press for the very first time ever. I have 4C natural hair. Since I went natural, my hair has been pretty much curly. I've not had straight hair. But I got my hair silk pressed and while I had it, I really enjoyed it. Although after a while, the novelty wore off and I just liked my hair with more volume because I just felt like my head was seeming really flat. I considered being a straight natural around that period, keeping my natural hair straight. For the most part, whether it's my blow dryers or silk presses, because it was just really nice. And I've had conversations on that video. I'll link the video here if you want to check it out. But um, there were conversations and comments on that video and suggestions about hair dryers, people that have, you know, found some helpful suggested. And one name that propped up was the Rev Air hair dryer. Unfortunately, that's not available in the UK. I live in the UK and I was actually hoping to get that in the US but you're also not able to use it here even though you get it from the US. Something to do with the charging ports and then the guarantees and yeah not the best but I ended up having a conversation you know we're still discussing and then someone had suggested that a good alternative was a Dyson air dryer the supersonic air dryer um I think that was TM Curly or TC yeah TM Curly so she had suggested that I guess the Dyson air dryer because she found it really good and it worked amazing for 4C hair so anyways I was like yeah she says it's good <laughs> I'll take her word for it so yeah I decided to buy it it's quite expensive yeah, it, you can find out how much it is online. I'm not going to talk about that here. But I ordered this and it's just been delivered. I'm not sure how I'll post videos, <laughs> but two weeks ago, before I'm shooting this video, I washed my hair and I used my regular cheap blow dryer that I got from Boots. Boots is like a high street supermarkets like this markets you find in your town centers the equivalent of CVS in the US so I got my dryer from them and yeah it's, it's pretty basic just like I don't recall how much I bought it but anyways this is super expensive well expensive is relative yeah it was expensive to me okay <laughs> I had to think about it before buying it but I believe like it's a good investment you have a long term it should last long should help you with like better results and so I decided to get it and we're gonna be unboxing this and then I'll wash my hair tomorrow and then I'll put it to use put it to test and then film that whole process and let you know what I think I bought from Dyson themselves just because it seemed like they were the ones that were going to, they were going to deliver the earliest because I kind of wanted this ASAP to wash my hair this weekend. Ow. Hi. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I got the copper and silver, I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna I got the one that has all the attachments and what I'm after is the one with the white tooth comb, which is what I would use for my 4C hair. And yeah, I'm just gonna open. Open. I'm trying to open this in a nice way. But I can't seem to find the nice point, so it looks like I'm just gonna have to rip it in a not so nice way.
some that are left here. <laughs> it's so sleek like uh, uh, I think it has like a really good finish it feels really sleek it feels slightly slippery like if you have products on your hands it may slip off but this bit here you know isn't slippery and I really like how it looks it's quite sleek okay boxes so this is just like the rest of it all these boxes are going into my compost <laughs> If you know me, if you've been watching me, you know that I like growing things. I have a garden, and so if I'm just looking at all these cardboards, they don't have cello tape on them. So I'm gonna end up using them in my garden as compost. Okay, so this is the diffuser head. Maybe now I'll be doing like wash and goes, you know. Maybe I will do wash and goes now. I think this is a styling concentrator, so you'd attach and you know <laughs> concentrate your styling. And then this one is the diffuser head. For like wash and goes so this one is the fly away attachment when I saw videos of how to use it on the Dyson website it kind of looked like what people with straight hair would do so if you have like a weave and you feel like it's you have flyaways then you'd use that to keep those in place um, which one is this I think this one is for like Air drying or dry air or something. It says the gentle air attachment. And finally, the one I'm interested in. White tooth comb. Although I kind of thought it was gonna be wider. But yeah, that's the white tooth comb one. It's gonna go in my hair. Oh. feels like a nice hair scratcher not like my hair is itching but my hair isn't itchy <laughs> but it just feels good I can use it as a massager okay and all this is gonna go in my compost uh, scan to block benefits and then I guess just like the manual the safety and stuff like that um, so that's it really that's my Dyson and I think let's see how do you attach it oh okay like it just went in Kind of magnetic because I didn't even have to. It feels as though it's magnetic, like it just locked in. And then there's red, there's fan. I'll figure out the rest of it when I wash my hair. I think that's it enough for now. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi guys, so I just washed my hair and it looks like this part is slightly dry because I just tied a scarf and left it there for I would say like two hours because I was busy doing stuff. I just wanted to rest and take a break. But the back is very much still wet or damp. So I'm still gonna blow dry but not with as much intensity. Yeah, the hair is like slightly stretched. 
But anyways, I'm gonna be trying my Dyson dryer. This is kind of how my hair was last week when I used my other dryer. And I'm just gonna see what the results would be with this one. Ideally, I'd like to get a trim as well because it's been a while. I haven't gotten a trim since my silk press, but I don't think I have time for that today. Um, I'm going to try and turn this on for the first time. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think this is just like cool air. This is hot air. And this is the lowest and then that's the highest. And then here's the lowest and that's the highest. I'm not sure what this blue button is. Um, I'll take a look at the manual, but for now I don't have time for that and I'm just going to go basic. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I'm probably going to do this, the red side, on the lowest setting. So the first one for my hair. So I'm going to start from the back because I think it's just easier to walk my way. Put this away. Start with this one. I'm going in with my Aussie oil as before. And then my Argan Oil Heat Protector. And then now my Dyson! I didn't feel like the white to comb was gonna go through my hair properly. I think there's something here, so I'm just going in with this other comb first. I keep like turning it off because I'm, I'm holding around here. I find I keep turning it off. Okay. Maybe I should turn this this way. Maybe that will help. I think I might as well give myself a treat. Ooh. 
So in terms of results, I think it's quite quick. It does the drying, you know, very easily. My only problem is I'm just getting used to using the comb through my hair. I think that's an adjustment for me because it's not something I normally do. So I'm having to adjust to get used to that process. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Maybe it will help if I do like smaller sessions. So doing one each instead of going through the whole section. I don't think I have time. <laughs> using the comb, the comb attachment doesn't feel as well again I found that holding my hair down you know helps because I'm yeah, just treating it as if I'm actually combing my hair so just holding my hair the way I would normally detangle hold and brush helps um, I've got this really small one here that I just separated I'm going to go in there. I've already put in I've already put the leave in and all the other things on the <laughs> And that's it. Hair is blow dried. to my Dyson dryer. I'll say my hair feels like it has more volume. Not like it didn't have volume, but I feel like there's that one because I used to hold it and then just blow dry. Or maybe because I did this on cold, so my hair is not fully blow dried, which is kind of what I usually go for. And um, I'm not trying to get the hair like super straight, but yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. I'm going to go ahead to style my hair We'll end this video here <laughs> thank you so much for watching i like the dryer i think it works i think it's quick it makes blow drying faster the heat setting was just right it wasn't hot at all it didn't feel hot i didn't have to do it on high heat to be quick so yeah i feel like my hair is definitely blow dried and i will end this video here i'll see you again in my next video until then stay blessed stay safe and bye